क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट बी ओ डी दैट इज बायोकेमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड एंड सी ओ डी केमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड इन वॉटर दैट इज नथिंग बट बायोकेमिकल ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर और केमिकल ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर लेट अस स्टडी फर्दर इन डिटेल अबाउट बी ओ डी एंड सी ओ डी BOD biochemical oxygen demand BOD of sewage is defined as the amount of oxygen needed in water by aerobic bacteria to consume the organic matter it is nothing but biochemical oxidation of organic matter well it happens at around 20 degree celsius within the span of 5 days the units for measuring BOD are mg per liter or ppm for an average sewage the units At 20 degree Celsius, BOD for an average sewage can be around 50 mg per liter. BOD is one of the most important treatments because it actually indicates the amount of organic matter present in that sewage. Larger the concentration of the decomposable matter, greater the BOD, and consequently greater the strength or the nuisance potential. Chemical oxygen demand (COD). chemical oxygen demand cod is nothing but the amount of oxygen which is required to decompose or to oxidize the organic matter it is a very important parameter to understand how much organic matter is present in it the organic matter can be in form of carbons in form of nitrogen sulfides etc so if i have organic matter present in water which contains a lot of hydrocarbons so what are hydrocarbons they are nothing but carbon and hydrogen so the carbon from the hydrocarbons will try combining with oxygen and form carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide gas will be evolved from water let's take examples of nitrogen sulfides or sulfates which are present in water also the nitrogen or the nitrous groups present in water the sulfides the sulfates all of them come and combine with oxygen and get oxidized and that forms nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide and all the other oxides so the oxygen is used in large amounts for oxidizing all the organic matter present in the water or in sewage water for all these reactions happening the oxygen which is already present in water in the form of h2o the o of h2o is being used for all this and because of that this leads to anaerobic processes so now what happens if the oxygen which is a part of water is being used for all these processes the oxygen gets depleted the levels of oxygen get depleted in the water which leads to less flora and fauna the flora and fauna cannot flourish because the fishes the animals which are present in water cannot get enough oxygen because they breathe through water because of depleted dissolved oxygen levels we find dead bodies of fishes floating on rivers and wells that is because of this process the organic matter in the water taking up all the oxygen which is present in the water higher cod means higher level of oxidizable organic matter which in turn or consequently means reduced level of oxygen so over here in this session we learnt about bod and cod biochemical oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand and what exactly happens in the process thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ekeda and subscribe to ekeda